sold the caches already, huh? Yeah, you should sold the house. sold the big items early. You don't have to put them back in your house. No, What's up, man? Kind of my right now. Two dollars a piece. I don't remember if I have this or not. I don't have this one. You don't? No, I've never, never seen this one. It's always like Mega Collection and never oh, that's seen. That's true. That one's just a GameCube port of the one for the Dreamcast. Oh, yeah. Oh, cool. So that's so kind of cool. It's not the second one, it's just the first one. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, ten bucks. Uh, do you have change for 20? Change for 20. Let me see. Just gonna buy everything? Uh, yeah, why not? We can split later. I just want to get changed because I'm kind of an amateur coming out with just 20s. <laughs> it's an amateur hour on my part. I saw you eyeing this chair. Oh, I know. I think I'll get it from my roommate. So he's complaining about this chair. That Phil when no Lego store still in Tucson, Arizona. How yeah, is that possible? Weird. Is there one in Phoenix? Yep. Oh, there you go. It's a, real it's a big one in Phoenix. Tucson, I mean, we're like 1.5 million now population. But Tucson's kind of terrible. I guess. It's terrible by choice, though. It's known as like the most crime-ridden city in... All of Arizona. If, there, if we have more crime than Phoenix, that would be my jaw would literally hit the floor. I don't know. I guess it's all. It's, I guess it's all just areas. It's all like suburbs and city. Wherever you, depends on where you're right, at. So what kind of bills you need? Uh, I'm just gonna give you twenty. So ten bucks. We're gonna buy all the games. Okay. A couple ones would be fantastic because I came out with just twenty today, like a a real first timer. So. Oh, that was brief. All right, how Two much bucks. was it? Two bucks. This car is gonna drive me insane. Is it still doing beat thing? Yeah. I'm gonna take my car to the that little place that turns cars into like aluminum boxes. <laughs> Driving me insane, bro. It's a great game. Original Xbox. Have these become backwards compatible yet on Xbox One? Uh, not yet. Or are we still they just discussed it. Working on that trend. No Wii games, how disappointing. I'll be picking this up. Alright. How much is he asking? Uh, Two dollars a game. Alright. ATV oh, okay. Offer Tree, the best soundtracking ever. I'm gonna pick this up for a buck too. The best movie license game ever. Even though it's not really technically a movie. It does We're asking have... two bucks for these, so I'm just letting you know. Oh! <laughs> but I just gave him a deal. Alright. Alright, thank you. Now, you so, so between you, you got a dollar fifty. Okay. He can pay the next fifty cents. What is this device right here? Yeah, this huge thing. Is this a telescope? That's the biggest like personal telescope I've ever seen. You guys got a little your own little private kit peek. You got some. I saw you eyeing the strategy guides. Yeah, I might go back over there and look. I too. miss when that was a a thing. Now it's just like, ooh, Google, how do I beat it? Yeah. I don't know. I still prefer strategy guides, honestly. I, I still buy the collection editions on that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I just like it. I've been playing this game a lot recently, Resident Evil 4. That game's awesome. I'm not sure what you need a strategy guide for in that game. It's pretty linear. Just there's some hidden stuff away.
Saw that the other day. The guy wouldn't sell it to us though, unfortunately. The Origins? Yeah, no, this one. Yeah. And he's like, text us. It's funny, you can actually still buy this brand new. Mm -hmm. It was a uh, PS3, that's your neck of the woods. PS3 stuff. Uh, RPGs, that's your neck of the woods. PS3 stuff. Uh, RPGs. Comedy movies with Ben Stiller on the front. <laughs> They're not. They weren't too funny, were they? <laughs> Man, a lot of strategy guides. I got to miss strategy guides. The internet's just so boring to just look it up and just have your answer right there. Yeah. It's fun to like either figure it out yourself or Everything's have to read it in the strategy guide. Every game's got a wiki now. Yep. Arrested Development, the best sitcom ever made. Without a doubt, this game was weird. Which game? Uh, Odd World. Oh yeah. Yeah. Very bizarre. Yeah, Eco. I've been looking for this one too. Is this Blu-ray Game of Thrones? Yep. Yeah. Oh, it's just one season. Spartacus was a great show too. I've never even seen that one. Is this the one? This is the prequel. This is the one about how he, the guy, becomes like the head of the. Gladiator Arena. The guy from The oh, Mummy. Yeah. Body Otis. Second season. Viva Pinata. Another kind of bizarre game. Halo 2 Collector's Edition. I bought this day one when I was younger. Boy, Halo 2 was a big, that was a big game, man. I remember when that launched. I found this at Goodwill the other day. Bizarre looking game. This game? It was sitting on the shelves at Goodwill. Weird. He's got strategy guides for days. No, I love it. In fact, I would buy this Resident Evil 4 one if you don't want it. Because that's why I'm playing in the middle of playing it right now. Oh, Wii Edition. <laughs> I forgot that came out on Wii. What? This game. Oh, I'm playing yeah. I'm playing on GameCube right now. Any other strategy guides we have to have here? Golden Eye strategy guide, Fanta. What? That's awesome. What would you need strategy guide for for that game? So I kick my buddy's ass. I guess so. <laughs> all you had to, all the maps. All you had to do was be odd job and then you would just have a much smaller hit tar hit radius. <laughs> I didn't even look in this box. Fatal frame. Let me look through her. <laughs> FIFA 99. You already know day one by. What type of cards are these? Baseball cards. Oh, baseball? Baseball cards are late 80s. I got excited. I thought it was magic. <laughs> That's what we, me and him play that a lot. Oh, uh, if you I probably won't buy any. I, I, the issue for me with magic is storage space. I just don't have a lot of room to put them in. Unopened packs? That's pretty exciting. Open boxes and open packs. Man. I was into it and I couldn't even make a playlist. Oh, we would play with you. We play all the time. Yeah, sure. Look at the biggest drive you guys. Who would have space for that? Got a nice box of VCR tapes, too. <laughs> <laughs> I even have a VCR player I can tell. I'll, I'll be honest with you. You guys are probably going to have to give those away. Yeah, I know, huh? Sadly, it's, it's a median that's just dead. Yeah. Which is good. It took up a ton of space. I know, huh? Well, I'm just going to set out stuff I'm interested in, and we'll see what he wants to sell and what he wants to sell it for. That sounds good. 
And as I said, thank you for pulling the stuff out. Anything yeah. you don't want to sell, don't feel guilty about it one bit. We're grateful for whatever we can get. My old roommate liked that series a lot. It's like, I've, I've heard it's like got demons in it, but that's about... Yeah, the older one, it's... It's kind a lot, of a kind of like game. living life game. It's weird. Life? Yeah, it's a lot of... I don't know, I guess you could compare it to Shinmu to some extent. There's a lot of like, living life, Star Ocean, I don't, I don't know. Wow, you got a lot of these Shin Megami games. Yeah, I, it took me a long time to find them Is that your file? I don't have to have that adjust. Found that in the old stack. It's funny that this game finally showed up. And in fact, Eco is another one that I've been looking for for a bit that hasn't ever turned up. Mm. Uh-oh. Final mm. Fantasy VII. That's not from in here. Was it Final Fantasy VII? Oh, is that what it said? What is going on YouTube? White here, back in the studio with Armin Fan Buren. I want to I like thank it. you for falling, like falling in and out of love with me once again today. And uh, <laughs> once again, falling in love with October. Yes. Because uh, this, I don't know what it is about October, but man alive. It's a great month. It is great. Uh, the weather almost overnight goes from summer to fall, and the yard sales go from junk to amazing. Literally in the course of one week, from late September to early October. Every year is like that, and... I don't know, I'm not going to argue with it, it just seems so bizarre to me that there's no transition period. It's just awful to awesome, awful to it awesome. just happens. Weather to yard sales, just amazing. Um, we went to a community sale. We did pretty good today, not as good as April mm -hmm. with that same community sale. If you remember April, was, uh, it was just packed. I don't, remember, I don't even remember what fines we had. I just remember we had like 19. Do you remember that day we had a find, and then we had a find the next mm -hmm. day, and then we had a find the next minute, and then a find the next minute? I know you got Chibi Robo on GameCube. There was yeah. a couple really good finds. There's some really good PlayStation finds. But um, the sales were, were were quiet, I guess you could say. There was not a lot of resellers, and there was not a lot of sales at the community sale, which is really rare. But um, you got us on the board really early with what should have been a bigger lot, but ended up being a nice lot. Why don't you hop into it? That if, Was as it the uh, one right here? Yeah, as it's completely out of order. But it's all, right. all right, perfect. Cool, so it's all right there. Yeah. Um, the N64 games in the lot were Quake, which is a relatively what happened to, inexpensive game. What happened game. initially? The guy said a GameCube lot or something? He, I'm, I remember the mom mentioned a GameCube, um... Like, everything back to the original Nintendo. The usual, like, it sounds yeah. way better than it actually ends up being as it comes out. And I guess he wanted to keep a lot of it, that's why. Oh, okay, so they just didn't... Pick, picked and choose, basically, yeah, what so they didn't want. Yeah, he picked and choose what he didn't want. Um, which is weird, because some of these games are great. So, uh, Quake, I mean, it's not an expensive N64 game, but it's something. Um, First person shooters on N64, always fun. Uh, well, I mean, GoldenEye. Yeah, I know, but GoldenEye, I, I still have trouble playing GoldenEye today. Wow, I still play. It was awesome back in the day, though. Um, Lego Racers, I love this game so much. You can build your own car in the game. Um, you can completely customize it. You start with like just the, the the base flat car, and you put all the Lego pieces together on it, and you unlock new pieces as you play the game. That's sick. It's a ton of fun. Lego was really popular in the '90s, but not as popular as today. Now today it's, it's like a multimedia <sighs> massive movement. Huge, just Lego movie. There's the Lego video game. A million Lego video games, Lego dimensions, and all just all sorts. It's oh, a that's... huge thing. It's like Disney now almost. It is. It is. Um, and then 007, the world is not enough. I have never played this game before. Um, hasn't gotten as big of praise as Goldeneye. No, it didn't. But I'm not sure why. I haven't played it. I don't know. I know that. The blue, I think it's a blue cart is relatively rare. Normally it's a gray cart. Really? I thought, I thought the gray cart was rare. I, thought the blue it might be, was... I might be wrong. Maybe I am wrong. But I know that one of the two variants is, is kind of rare and the other one is a little bit more common. Mm -hmm. So that's kind of cool that there's two different variants though. I wonder why this one's blue. Like, I what does that have to know. do with the game? I like, never understood why that why Super Nintendo did that too. Just random cards were red mm -hmm. and stuff out of the blue. This game, why have we never seen this game? We always see Sonic Adventure 2. But this is the first one, uh, should be more common than the second one. I actually have a copy of that in my collection. But we always find, we always find the, the second one, we always find Sonic Adventure 2. 
Yeah, this one. We always find this one everywhere on the planet. I don't have that one, though. We f I don't know. We've found it like 90 times That's since weird. we've been hunting. But we never find this first one. So, um, you want to talk about renewing this game collect, this game room, Fanta? I am out of GameCube room. Like, 100%. I cannot fit another game on the shelf. And I got two new games for it. <laughs> so, the ga my GameCube collection is not big, but every title on here is like a, a big title. They're there's all not, good. Like, there's not like junk. Like They're all good games. Madden or stuff, just to have fillers. There's all Mario. Uh, there's that Digimon World game. They're, they're good games. They're like they're $20 good. games, yeah. if you were to go value-wise. At least $20. Uh, and this disc is really nice. So this is going to be added to the collection. Um, I guess I'll just kind of awkwardly put it on the top. For now. Until we get the new game room going. Which we got the gears going towards today, um, so I'd say by the December. Closet. I'd say by December everything is going to be done. I'm not going to be unrealistic and say next week we'll have it ready, but I'd mm. say by December the game room will be. Well, we got we got to keep saying next week. We got the dragons are coming. It is a meme. Yep, we'll keep doing it. Okay. So next week the game room will next be week. There. last last week in this game room. Last week everyone. Um, and then Armored Core three, uh, which looks like a mech game. Um, I've never played any of the Armored Core series. Yeah, was it a video game first, or was it like a, a anime? I don't know. I don't know. I don't Comics. Know. I think it was like more it's of a complete a, though. But what did Bookman's ask for, and when? Uh, Bookman's asked 2013, 2013, 2013. Boy, I went in there today. Their selection is lousy. Um, this was actually uh, from Software. So this is the same people that made um, Dark Souls. Oh, cool. Fun fact. I really want to play that series. I hear a lot of people rage about it constantly. Uh, you, as far as it's hard. You breaking controllers. It wouldn't be I feel good. like it'd be a very expensive series for you. That TV wouldn't survive the night. Oh, God. Um, jumping into the next find. This guy had... It's too bad because he didn't have any Wii games. He had Wii stuff, but he had just piles of Xbox... Original Xbox mm -hmm. games. Which is... Now I don't know where the hell they are. It's in that pile over there somewhere. There's, and I um, got yeah. um, The Goat movie license game. Everyone should play this at least once in their life. The Chronicles of Riddick's Escape from Butcher Bay. Uh, it's a first person... I don't want to call it action. It's much more stealthy. It's much more kind of sneaking around and basically cool. the whole premise is to escape from a prison. And Will it hold up today? I'm not sure, but back in the day it was it was groundbreaking. Original Xbox, I believe, has held up pretty well over the years. But we'll um, see. This, this style of game has been done to death recently. The games. whole sneaky... Sneaky, and then there's a lot of dialogue, and hey, you have to talk to people to figure out how to get to you know, unlock little quests and stuff. I think this might be different, though, because it's not just sneaky, but it's also first person. Yeah. Whereas a lot of games aren't sneaky in first person. And you're Vin Diesel, person. so if you care about the Chronicles of Riddick lore at all, which probably very few people do, um, it's kind of cool to explore that backstory. But I remember it's really fun because you are vulnerable. Like, if you go up against Max and stuff, you'll get killed in one or two shots. Oh, really? It's not like Halo, where it's like, oh, I'll just jump across the way. And so this is a difficult game. It's very difficult and for the longest time I remember I just had like a shank. You don't have guns or anything, you have like a knife. Really? You have to get up behind robots and like dismember them. But uh, it's a really fun game and at the time the graphics were absolutely amazing. Back in, you know, 2002 or whenever it came out, these graphics were absolutely groundbreaking. So I'll be giving this a play cool. if I can. If I can. I don't have a 360 anymore, so. You don't have a 360 anymore? No, I don't have a 360 anymore. I have that, that one, but that's red ringed. It's just oh. like a collector's piece. So. If I can, I'll play this. If not, I'll wait, and then maybe one day they'll be backwards compatible once again. One day. Uh, and then I got this game right here, which, uh, as a kid, I remember my friend had it, just that the cover looks disturbing as hell. The Suffering. Um, I guess you're in a... Another a, prison. A prison, game, yeah. yeah. Uh, prison is hell. Experience terror as you fight your way out of maximum security prison. Overrun with ghastly creatures, so it's basically you're in prison and then all these terrible, awful things come out of nowhere. Super edgy game, it looks like. It looks really creepy. There's like people with like blades for limbs, and like this guy in the front has like syringes coming out of his eyes. And This is about the time that games started to push the envelope just to push the envelope as much yeah. as possible. Right yeah. About 2004 or so, and they were just like, what can we get away with and still be MO? Oh, there's insanity. In a Eternal Darkness. Sanity. Yeah, Eternal Darkness. Um, I don't think it, it utilized it quite as cool as Eternal Darkness did, though, where it said, like, insert memory card and stuff. That would be cool if it, it did. it actually fucked with you as the player. I love yeah, that game. Yeah, that was awesome. So let's get into the big, uh, absolutely amazing find. Uh, this is kind of why we go out. Mm -hmm. Did we spend an okay amount of money? Yes. Should we have spent way more money on this? Yes. We left a lot of stuff behind. Oh, yeah. But 
he's going to be back next April. He even told us that specifically. So we'll go back to his house next April. We'll have more fines at that time, and we'll spend more money at that and time. And he's not really looking to sell. Like, he, he sold some to us, but yeah. he's not looking to sell. Like, he had to unbury all this well, stuff. Tell him, tell him so, the backstory. Tell him your side of the story as you walked up, and then we'll talk about what I, I, what I thought was going to happen. My side of the story is when I walked up was um, I asked him if he had video games to sell, and he kind of looked around a little bit, like... But I don't want to sell them. Right. But his wife's like, oh, he's got a bunch of games. And then he's like, okay. So he started going, he started getting rid of it. Um, or he started bringing it all out and unboxing it. And, were they there um, in the garage or were they in the house? They're in the garage. Okay. They're all in the garage in boxes. Um, which is why I was hoping, oh, maybe this guy's going to get rid of his collection finally. We're going to be the guys yep. to take the collection, you know, from this guy. And, uh,. <laughs> Because the wife was really pushing. Yeah. She was really pushing. Well, she I knew, I knew he wasn't going to sell us the collection. The minute I walked up and saw the collection, I was like, this guy's... I was hoping. I was hoping he was just going to liquidate legit, it all. This guy's a legitimate collector. Um, anytime you see a ridiculous... Not anytime, but almost 100% of the time. When you see a ridiculous lot of games, you're not going to be buying the ridiculous yep. lot of games. If someone's yep. a crazy collector with insane, awesome games... You're probably not gonna be buying that collection, especially especially an RPG collector, because usually those people are the hardcore gamers yep. who've been collecting and collecting and collecting for a long time. Correct. So. The two loopholes to that room that to that rule that I can think of immediately is the Sega Genesis lot was a huge, massive collection, but the people had no idea about it. And then of That's course true. the Turbo Graphics lot yep. was the most insane collection ever, and the people had really no idea about and they it. They had no idea about it. But it for the most huge. part, when you see insane RPGs, insane games, four hundred dollar games, especially for PlayStation, hard to find rare games on PlayStation, Dreamcast, Sega Saturn. That person's a collector, and you're not going to yep. be getting an amazing deal. So you found a little lot of games, and the first thing I noticed him doing is picking up the iPad. And yeah. I said, oh boy, we're, we're in trouble. And of course, he looks at my lot and not yours. Mm -hmm. That's the great thing. So he's looking through every single one of my games, pulling them up, and then looks at your stack and goes, oh, I know what they're worth. I, he, then, he said none of them were worth anything. The thing I found interesting is that he immediately took Fatal Frame 2 out of the pile and said it was worth $400. It's like, yeah, this game's going for 400 And he's looking at Amazon, too. He wasn't looking at eBay. He was looking at Amazon. So, of course, the $400 he was looking at factory was sealed. factory sealed yep. new. Factory sealed um, that it wasn't. So he took the thirty dollar game out, but had no problem selling you Castlevania Symphony of the Night. Um, and uh, so, show, why don't you show what yeah. you got in your pile and what you paid for? So I got kind of the shit end of the stick. Not really. That's this is a really. I, game. I did, but I did it at the same time. This is like a thirty dollar game, um, Castlevania Symphony of the Night. Um, it is complete, of course. I mean, you see the the art. So of course, it is uh, pretty good condition. Just a couple fingerprints. Um, I love the art. Right there. Is this, just, no, is this a cast? Really cool. was, was this the one that attempted to be 3D? This or did this not. This is another Metroid um, Castlevania game. This is a Metroid Castlevania game, but it does have like. Whoops. Well, that was terrifying. <laughs> oh, please don't be scratched. It's fine. You're good. It's fine. Stay. There we go. Um, it, it did, however, because it was a PlayStation 1 game. It wanted to incorporate some like 3D aspects, so, like the background. One of them is like moving. Oh, that's you know, like cool. a, a pipe. That's fine. Um, you've got some like objects that are swinging, and you can see like the 3D. But that's about it. It's a side scroller. So is it? Well, this game was well received. People liked it. People liked this game and a lot. And the 3D Castlevania. The only hated. problem with this game is that the loading times are ridiculous, and whenever you die, it sends you back to the main menu. You have to load your game. And then you're back in the game. So it's not just like so a quick respawn. Exactly. So that's a little bit annoying, but the rest of the game is supposed to be fantastic. And I've actually been looking for this game for a long time. You spent, time out real quick, you spent $25 on this lot, right? $25 on the lot. So you got an amazing deal. Yeah, I got like, a great deal. That game goes for way over $25. I got a great deal. It's just I was hoping to get a bigger lot We should have bought more. And that's what I thought about all day. I was like, we should have bought more. We should have bought more. But I was, I had more in my pile. But he took them all out. Oh, yeah. Except for these two games. Yeah. So I didn't really have a choice. Um, also included in the $25 was the... Beautiful. It's still... It's really dented, but I'll try to figure out That's how to fine. make it look better. Complete inbox, Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. This is awesome. Um, I don't even mind. It's dented, but that doesn't affect the condition too much to me. As long as this is, like, flat and smooth, I yeah. think it looks really good. It looks really good. Um, Complete, too? Uh, Looks like there's an instruction booklet in there. There's just the ads. Okay. But I might have the instruction booklet at home. 
because I just found it. I was going through a bunch of stuff. Oh, good. And I found a stack about this thick of a Nintendo 64 um, instruction book. Always, always relevant to have stuff like that. Um, I have just a big, like, ridiculous lot of just stuff and cases and stuff. Oh, well, yeah, you want to keep it just in case you find the game. Right. If you don't have it, if you do, then it's complete and it looks a lot nicer. Yeah. And it's always good, like DS cases and GameCube cases. If you can ever come across just cases, yeah. save those 100% because obviously they're not relevant. They're not around for other media. They're only for that media. Exactly. And even, honestly, I would still say PS2 just because it it looks exactly like a DVD case. And it kind of is, but at the same time, it's still unique because it's got that memory card the memory slot card up there. Holder. Yep. So if you right. want it to be legit PS, PS2 cases, then... Uh, I, I don't know, I think it looks a lot better. sick. And then, he made a big deal about it because it was Versus. Right. Uh, um, <clears throat> this is the Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time Strategy Guide, which I am terrible at this game, so I really need it. Um, and I think there's a poster in here. Is this a poster? I don't know, like the back two pages kind of look like a poster. Obviously it has the Water Temple, but I That's thought it was cool. a lot, much more straightforward game than Majora's Mask. I mean, there's a lot, it, it's pretty straightforward for most parts, but there are some cryptic bits where yeah. I'm just like, well, what do with, I do? Well, with so many of the old Zelda games there was. So and that was before the internet, that was the glorious time before the internet when you literally had to like look through these and talk to your friends at school. What's well, really nice, look, look at the art. I mean, just look at the art in there, yeah. look at all the, the different screenshots of what to do. I mean, you can still look this game up online, you still see screenshots and stuff. But I still feel like the old strategy guides in the most comprehensive way. Well, it's physical. It's we are we like physical media. That's why mm -hmm. we collect video games, and this exactly. is a physical version of that media. It's a real thing. Whereas we could just look up screenshots online, but that's stupid. This exactly, is the it's real stupid. Thing. You can look up YouTube walkthroughs, but I feel like the physical, you know, strategy guide is the cool thing. Plus, look at this art. It just looks cool. I like it a lot. So um, he threw this in with your lot, which was nice, and you made out. Like a band yeah, a lot. We I, didn't even know. I didn't roll well. We're going to take a two second break and then we'll get into it. So we'll get into this lot um, I got. You you kind of, you. I mean, you didn't take a gamble, but at the same time. I threw in valuable games I wanted. It was a lot of, you didn't spend, it wasn't a cheap deal by mm. any means. I mean, you spent I made like a fair 75 offer. bucks. I made a fair offer. Yeah. But I saw what you did. I saw what you the prices you got and I'm like, okay, he's going to give decent deals. And this is after he looked this stuff up. So I got a big pile, bigger than what's here. He took a couple of my games off too. Mm -hmm. I got a big pile and um, I uh, put it in front of him and he didn't even look up any of these games. He's like, oh, I know these aren't valuable. Uh, I know these aren't big deal titles, so just make me an offer. And wanting to get the lot, but also wanting to get a yard sale discount. You, you want to get good deals at yard oh, sales. Yeah. I'm not going to lie to anyone on YouTube and say that we're not, like, we're not going out to pay your eBay prices ever at yard sales. Ever. We do no. too much work for that. We, we want to get good deals. That's the whole reason we go out. So I offered him 60 bucks flat for this lot. Um, he countered at 70 I said all I had was 64 in my wallet, and that was true. Was it 64 that you spent? 64. Okay. So he took $64. Um, one of the first games he removed, we actually had already. I wanted to try to upgrade, though. I can't. I guess I can't Eternal reach Eternal Darkness? Yeah. He, for some reason, removed this game, which is not that expensive of a game, but uh, I wanted to see if I could upgrade my condition, so I threw that on the pile. And he removed it quickly. I guess, I don't know if he wanted to keep it or if he thought it was a super valuable game. But one one game that is a super valuable game, Dragon Warrior Seven. And I'm kicking myself because I had that in my pile originally. But at the same time, if I had had it on my pile, he would have looked it up. He would have looked it up, and then so, none of us would have gotten it. I guess mm -hmm. it, you took one for the team. Yep. Uh, this game is complete and per beautiful, perfect condition, flawless oh condition. Oh my god! And I'm not sure what the deal is with Dragon Warrior. I know it, it's supposed to be called Dragon Quest at some point. There's a cotton ball in there. It's weird. Perfect condition, just dusty. An instruction booklet. But, yeah, uh, it became Dragon Quest later. I don't remember when. A little bit later. Maybe that's what it's called in America and Dragon Warrior in Japan. But then why is it called... I mean, this was released in America, so... Well, I know it says the best-selling game on PlayStation in Japan in history. Hmm. So, of all games in Japan, this is the best-selling one for PlayStation. And yet it's worth how much? Uh, I was seeing between $60 and $80. It's and in, in that condition, definitely north of 80 because that thing is absolutely mint. Uh... An empty case for Final Fantasy 3. How many times have me and you done the stupid <laughs> <laughs> on channel history? Uh, a lot of times. So just an empty case. 
I'll probably suck it up and buy a loose card of this game on eBay to have the game complete. The case is awesome and I'm not going to sell the case. I'm not going to make money on the case. No. So I'll probably buy a loose copy of the game and have a complete game in my collection. Uh, factory Sealed. Xeno Gears. Player's Choice, unfortunately, but Factory Sealed. That's cool. I'll probably be selling this and possibly buying a loose copy of this game. I, I'm not a big fan of Factory Sealed games, period. Uh, the value, people. a lot of people say the value of oh, these are worth thousands, but factory sealed games are pretty hard to sell. I've tried it a lot in my in my the, life. The reason I don't like factory sealed games is because I feel like they're pointless because you can't play it. No, exactly. It's, it's not like a factory sealed toy where yeah. you can see it in its entirety as it was on the store. A factory sealed game is kind of pointless to me because exactly you can't play it. I would rather have a mint condition complete copy than a factory mm -hmm. sealed one. And then when I get the factory sealed ones, I try to sell them. And what is this one worth? Is this worth it? I have no idea. It's probably I probably get fifty bucks for it factory sealed. I would guess. Because surprisingly, if you guys check Amazon, um, there are a lot of popular games for the PlayStation One greatest hits. You can buy brand new factory sealed still. Factory sealed for like twenty bucks. Yep, it's really cool. Now this game's a little bit more valuable. I saw complete copies going for forty, so I'd say okay, maybe cool. fifty factory sealed. But again, again, again with this place, we've seen this place a lot. What uh, is it? America Pawn. Oh, Golden yeah. music, we've seen it a bunch of times. Uh, Final Fantasy VII. I don't know if this is the misprinted label. I, for, I always forget what it looks like. You know what it looks like? Let me see. I think it was actually in the man. Was it on the? No, no, it was on the cover. But a lot of people think it's kind of with Ocarina of Time as the best RPG ever, ever made. Final Fantasy VII. I don't currently have a copy. I usually I've gotten three or four copies in history. I play it and then I sell it because um, I didn't really collect PlayStation, but. I might keep this one, even though the the shell. It's just one of these things that just has. It's just a misprint, and it's a uh, the the text is spelled incorrectly on. I didn't say anything misspelled, so. But I don't know. I, remind us in the comments what it looks like. I don't feel like looking it up, but there's a really popular misprint copy. But uh, complete. The game itself is in nice condition, but the case is cracked. Um, I'll probably be keeping this in my collection, even though it's not perfect condition. I think I have three copies of that. Play. It's we find it a lot. We, we find do. It a lot. I got that loose copy actually of my first day going yard sailing. This game, the best game ever. I'm really like, excited I for playing like it. That game. I know some people don't. It's just it's it's a generic puzzle game, and you get you solve the puzzle, and then you have to figure out how to get her. The re to yeah, the fall reason the reason I didn't like the game is because it's a giant escort mission, and I always it's hate always escort an mission. escort mission. If you don't like it, you'll hate it. If you like really artsy, it's a really artsy game, exactly like it's. Predis no, not predecessor. The game that followed it, Shadow of the Shadow Colossus. Of I it's haven't played much of that. It's basically like I mean art, that. if you will. But in this game, actually works for me. I love it. I played it a lot. They had it on the demo kiosk for yeah. PS2 for the longest time, like Target and Walmart. So I played it some there, and I played it at a buddy's house. But I've never owned it. Uh, fantastic game. Been looking for it and Shadow of the Colossus forever. I don't think we've ever seen this on the PS2. I don't think we've seen this game either. But um, we've only seen like one copy of Shadow of the Colossus as well. Must not have sold that well. Which is weird because no, it did. I uh, actually, I think I got the greatest hits edition. I've never gotten one. I've never bought Shadow of the Colossus since we've been game hunting. Really? Uh, back to when it's called Dragon Quest. Dragon Quest Eight. Um, so this is the one right after the one you have. Apparently, and this is uh, when it went back to being called Dragon Quest. Uh, I don't know anything about this series. I know some people loved it and some people called it dreadfully boring. Really? At least the older PS2 ones or PlayStation One, the one I have. Uh, I don't know a whole lot about this series, but it looks like a pretty traditional RPG. And this one's probably worth about twenty twenty five dollars, so it's not That's it's not as valuable as the other one. And then the game, we talk about it, and it shows yep, up. We yep. talked about it two months ago. Maximo spiritual successor to Ghosts and Goblins, kind of. I don't know if it's even related, but uh, it felt like felt like it a lot. And it is a challenging game. Did you play it? I played it a lot as a kid. I haven't played oh, okay. it yet as an adult. Um, I, obviously, I spent the last two days re redoing mm -hmm. this game room over here. But um, really fun third person. Action game, I guess you have a sword. It's kind of a platformer action game. You have a sword and you kill go ghouls. That's and I, cool. I think you throw your shield, but I don't remember specifically. Really fun game. I don't remember it being that hard, but I believe people when they say it was. But I, I was playing in like eighth grade, and I didn't think it was that hard at the time. Hmm. And then the last find. Oh yeah, I guess this went with it. Tales of Symphonia Strategy Guide. Which had this game for for a hundred million years. It's right right here. You got that at the pawn shop. I remember. I got Tales of Symphonia at the pawn shop was a funny story. I got oh, this yeah, two and, and then Super Melee. Smash Bros. Melee, and I sold that off. I got this. I don't remember where I got this now. 
You know what we need to do when we have the game room renovated? We just need to have a little note where we got it and what we paid. A little sticky note on everything so that 10 everything? years later, every game we get from now on, we just okay. like, yard sale, $5. We and then like the date you get it. Because I don't remember what like we got this. Have like a little note inside of here. Where the hell did I get this game? I that was going to bother me. I'm going to have to go back and watch old videos. But uh, never got around to playing it. The strategy guide should be the nudge I need. The cool thing about this it. game is unlike the, the normal RPGs where you pick an attack and then you, you do the attack and does the animation. Um, this is like a uh, live action. Yeah. So it's like it plays kind of like Super Smash Brothers almost, doesn't it? It's kind of 2D and you run around and you, it's live action. It, it reminded me kind of of Super Smash Brothers in a weird huh. way. I guess it's an interesting way of looking at it. But it's just 2D and it's just kind of like... A to attack, B for magic, whatever. But uh, I'll be playing that. This is a really nice copy, my god. I, no, I'm not, it's killing me where I got it, though. Can't figure that yeah, out. I have no idea. Uh, and then last thing. Shout out to several subscribers who have given us this advice throughout the history of the channel. They say, when you find junky lots, like just real le lo lowest common denominator junk shovelware lots of like PlayStation games, PlayStation 2 games, uh, if it's dirt cheap, pick them up. And the reason they say to pick them up is to take them to, for us it's Bookman's, other people have pawn stores, other people have thrift stores that do video game, music, mm -hmm. and book trade-ins. Our place is called Bookman's. So I found these bags of just junk, PlayStation games, junk, 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 in this closet as I was cleaning it out. And I brought them all to Bookman's, traded them in, and got a $100 store credit. Nice. For, you know, it was... It was over 100 games, but they were all just, I was going to throw them Shovel out, they were just, yeah. it was just junk. So, uh, for 20 bucks out of that $100 gift card, I picked up F-Zero GX, uh, 1950 no tax, which is actually a really good deal. I've noticed most of these copies are going for over 30 currently. So, 1950 wow. with no tax is a pretty good deal. The disc is pretty, pretty damn nice, actually, not bad at all, and the game is complete. So that's cool. A really well received F Zero game. When people think of F Zero, I think they always think of Super Nintendo. People kind of forget it came out on the GameCube. I don't remember anyone owning this copy that I. I knew. think of N sixty four honestly. I always think of well. I guess I guess never mind. I guess it just has to do with your generation. Yeah. That's that like uh, sort of cool. whenever someone says Mario Kart, I immediately think of N sixty four. Even too. though of course it came out on Super Nintendo first. Mm -hmm. But that's just our generation. So get into get into your things. Whatever things. Your things are. Um. Website exists now. It's just don't go to it, and I'm not gonna tell you the web address because it's not great yet. Um, I just need to get it all completely customized. Sure. Yeah. Set up take, and all that stuff. take your time. No hurry. But we do have the domain name now. It's like an actual .dot com. That's pretty cool. So that's pretty cool. That's it's a, a good real feeling. website. Yeah. Um, I already have a couple of the YouTubers that want to join in on the website, so their their shows are gonna be on here as well. Um, be nice to do your own thing because YouTube is kind of. Uh... Kind of like the big bully eye in yeah, the sky. Yeah, it's, it's really annoying the way YouTube does things. So it'll be cool. We're going to put a bunch of different content on the website. I'm going to have written reviews that I do mm -hmm. along with the video stuff. Um, the podcast, I just put up the teaser less than a day ago. Oh, it'll be a day ago now. Yeah. Um, so if you want to check that out, teaser link, I'm going to put it somewhere. And it's on SoundCloud. So on SoundCloud right now, okay. um, I'm looking for a new RSS hosting website just because SoundCloud wants to make you pay per month, and I don't have that kind of money. They want like 20 bucks a month. That's stupid. Uh. So we're we're not making that much money, and I'm not making anything off the podcast. So I'm going to just throw that on um, a different website, and it's I think I found one already. Uh, I might start playing some of the, the stuff on YouTube. The only thing is you can't download it off of YouTube. Oh, okay. So I, I like having the, the file available for people to download. We so do have some people wanting to download it just so they can listen to it in, listen their iPad, to the iPod, in the car, yeah. iPod, mm -hmm. and stuff like that. So it's kind of a cool thing to do. Um, uh, another thing is game reviews. Uh, hopefully we'll be getting Halo 5. Oh, gosh. So that'll be cool. In before it doesn't work, the first like two months it comes out. Oh, I'm hoping not. I hope it does. But so we'll we'll see how that game is. Um, Rainbow Six Siege. I'm not sure if I'm gonna do impressions video on that. Uh, I mean, I could just. It's not that great. I mean, it was mediocre. We'll do a lot more. I think we'll do a lot more written stuff on the website. Yeah, there'll like, be a lot of written stuff. Like, like blogs and stuff about yard selling and how, how our days go and blah, blah, oh, yeah. blah. That'd be cool. Kind of like a, a quick recap. Exactly. Yeah, just recap. We didn't really follow up. Just with. written. Sometimes written stuff's a 
relaxing form of media yeah. as opposed to just listening to people blare and talk. It's sometimes it's nice exactly. to actually read read a text. I know that's old school for today's generation. I know, right? What is reading? What's reading or what's handwriting? I guarantee you in like 10, 15 years, people aren't going to know how to handwrite anymore because it literally is a dying It really is. I, everything. I get a writer's cramp. After writing like a paragraph, right, right, I write my oh, name this and it sucks. The only cursive I can do anymore is my signature. I forgot. What was up with cursive? We we like learned it in like elementary school, and they're like, "Let's start going to use it for the rest of your life," and then you yep. never use it again. It's because then the internet and computers became dominant. And plus, cursive is like you can't really read it unless you write perfect cursive. You could if we were in the 1800s, we could read it and write it, but oh, we're not anymore. And I have a feeling handwriting is going to be the same way. Everything's going to be done on computers. Everything's and then be done on tomorrow. Tablets. Tomorrow, we're going to find out if Battlefront is any good. Because oh, the, the 7th, October 7th, I don't know when you're watching this, but October 7th is when you can download the open beta for Battlefront. So this is going to be interesting. I'm definitely going to do an impressions video on that. Do a gameplay of it. Um, I'm definitely going to do some that. gameplay. I want to see it and I don't want to play it. Um, Just download it's free. Battlefront. Yeah, I might do that. Battlefront and <laughs> Halo 5 uh, are kind of like watching the Rams every season for me. I, I just, I really have to curve my expectations, period. I go in just <laughs> expecting shit, and if anything positive happens, I'll be really happy. Um, but I'm expecting crap, because everything I've gotten from the Xbox One has been crap. Master Chief Every Collection not working. That was awful. Was just the worst thing. And that was, that's it for the first two years of that system. That's what I wanted out of it. That's all, I'm, yeah, that was what that was sold it. me on the Xbox One was the Master Chief Collection. And then it it came. Junk. Just and junk. It was broken. I still have it on the shelf in case it ever works, but I don't Yeah, I don't me know too. I, I have it on my shelf. If one day. I, I tried it like a month ago. And I'm like, maybe, maybe it's fixed. And maybe it'll no, work. No one's playing it. No one's playing it. Even if it works, no one plays it. Uh, we're out. Uh, last thoughts? Any last thoughts? Any last um, request? Live streams. I've started that up again because the data has reset. It's pretty cool. I watched one the other day. I was I actually was home when you did one. It's yeah. pretty cool that you have the picture in picture of you playing it and stuff. It's pretty well done. It's, I was it's pretty cool. impressed. And I had uh, I had Steven on the, the laptop because I got rid of the comments on the side because it looked bad and it was like smaller. Right. So I got rid of the comments on the side so I can see the comments on my laptop. So I can reply to you guys, and I can like talk to you. The cool thing about live stream is, even if you don't want to watch them play a video game, which I completely understand, you can ask me questions, and I'll immediately answer you. Correct. It's like so. a Skype. It's like a Skype. It's like Skyping, yeah. Uh, same deal as last week. If we get 300 likes on this video, by the time we go out garage selling, we will devote one extra hour to garage selling. So that's a 50% raise. 50% boost in chances of us finding good stuff. All you have to do is hit the thumbs up button. It takes maybe one second, if not. By the time I'm done talking about this, you guys could have done it. Uh, 300 likes, another hour of yard selling. That would be about three hours. Better. It makes me feel a lot better about myself and uh, about the fact that I bought this camera for 400 bucks, which is still, the jury's still out on it. Uh, we are out, guys. Thank you for watching, and have a good rest of your week. Good luck game hunting if you go out this week. Later.